spare power supplies go down there and then this is where I keep my graphics cards and stuff and uh, this is where I keep what protects my graphics cards and all my good stuff ready to go lock and load it hey guys what's up so today's video I need to tear this apart it was for a video I built it you guys know I mean I basically built it because I was like well if you buy all the computer stuff and you don't have a nice case to put it in you can use a box and as you can see I turned it into a pretty decent case but it needs to be tore apart and put back in inventory um, one thing that I noticed that my inventory is extremely is just getting out of control because I can build three to four fully put together computers and still have just an insane amount of stuff um, hardware in the back um, it's ridiculous I now have let's see I counted it the other day I now have um, 12 motherboards I have seven CPUs 12 CPU coolers six power Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven power supplies, um, hard drives like this one. This is a brand new hard drive that I've um, I just pulled to put in there. Um, I have I'd say eight of these M.2 drives. I have four of those um, RAM. I probably have ten sticks of RAM from four. No, they're all eight sticks. They're all eight gig sticks. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's just it's actually quite hard to keep up with all of that inventory um, I just I don't know what to do and the biggest problem are cases Cases are the biggest problem when you're dealing with inventory. They literally take up a ton of room um, So do IOs uh, They're ridiculous. I mean if you look there those are all radiators and whenever it focuses fans stock CPU coolers if it will focus and then this entire stack is all 240 millimeter no god man I am off today yeah they're all 240 millimeters the ones in the middle are all 120 millimeter radiators and then those are all addressable controls and stuff and then I have you know pumps and fittings and other kinds of stuff and then up there that's all hardline tubing and stuff but um, I'm I'm acquiring a program that will help me keep track of inventory what I would like to do is if I would like to go on to the program and type in CPU and it would bring up a list of all of the CPUs that I have in inventory what I try to do let's see here oh, let's reach for those these are my new paint clips they're pink but I don't care because they're gonna get spray painted um, what I was doing here we go ugh, is I had this this is how I started with um, trying to keep track of my inventory and I found that this was this wasn't going to work um, because this list right here this list is two years old and it the problem is is that like for instance that GTX 960 no I still have that uh, the 580 I don't have anymore the 1050 Ti I don't have anymore uh, the silver Cyclops 3 I don't have that or and I don't have the Phantom 410 case no more. Um, the Rogue Strix B350F Gaming, don't have that. Oris H370, yeah. Uh, no, H10L, I don't have that no more. The Ryzen 5 1600, I still have that. The i381, I still have that. You know, I need to add five more to this. And um, this right here is. So, anyway, it. I don't know what to do. Like, I was watching. Jay's two cents, Linus, um, Paul's hardware, Bitwit, all them guys to kind of see how do they handle dealing with all of the mess and stuff. Oh, 
mainly they just build big shelves like this and then they just fill it up with all of their stuff uh, I would love that but I need this big shelf here I need this big shelf here basically just to hold all the, just the stuff I know it's extremely disorganized uh, but all of that stuff is important electrical LEDs 12 volt and everything all that down there is our acrylic and plexiglass um, and you know I got some camera gear down here um, these are all duds uh, like the lights work but um, you know maybe the fan doesn't spin and then I have like adapters that go from uh, what is this 120 to 140 millimeter fan you know and then I got some of the older stuff I got power supplies back there this I mean it still very much holds things that I need um, I mean, these are electrical stuff for my house and stuff. Um, here's a, an electric burner that I have for projects and other kinds of things. And then up there is just monitors. I have, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five monitors right there in that little area. Um, and then all of their stands and mounting equipment and stuff, uh, that, that just adds up. I mean, I, I even have one just kind of hanging out over here because I don't know what to do with it I, I just I have so much inventory um, you know same with like keyboards and stuff mouses keyboards let's, let's see like like what I was saying about shut up like what I was saying about mouses and keyboard that whole entire plastic crate is full of keyboards mouse and gaming speakers there's even um, like the mouse mats in there too and stuff, the RGB ones. Yeah, I got so much of it that I had to put it in there. And then if I direct your attention to the bigger box, the bigger box, that holds the boxes for these parts, some of these parts that I'm using. Oh, shut up. Like, uh, you know, I keep the boxes to everything. So for instance, I have to store all of these boxes because when I tear the machine apart I'm going to put each fan back in the box um, but I need to keep the boxes somewhere until I get around to putting it back like all of this stuff uh, the power supply the, the graphics card the pumps the reservoir the all of this stuff came out of its original box and that's what that one big box is holding it's holding all the empty boxes and stuff so I am actually trying to find an active way of kind of organizing the shop. Now over here in the corner here, this is where I basically do all of my um, custom work. This is my workshop out here. You know, I got my drill presses and I got all the tools and stuff I need even even down there that's all my electrical stuff or wheel of wire and I got all my drills and glues and there's all kinds of different tools and stuff down in there and over here I have all types of different materials aluminum springs metals uh, you name it plumbing piping I can build this about anything out of it um, what I need I want to add a little organization to it but that's all this needs but what do I do with the sheer volume of hardware now I'm going to get more hardware that's all there is to it I don't sell my stuff off if I do it's usually in a build and then I hate myself after I sell it so I don't sell my stuff anymore I, I just keep it um, but what I did is I bought a couple of bookshelves and I instead of the bookshelves being on the floor I stuck them to the wall and I'll show you guys that and I'll show you um, what I'm trying to accomplish with my inventory now I need to drag this computer back inside the house or I can take it apart out here and then just bring the main components in and put them back in their boxes um, and be done with it but uh, really that's that's just a little bit of food for you guys to, to have something to look at um, I need to put this hard drive back while we do go inside okay so we are back in my room now and I brought in all of the parts and stuff um, and I'll I'll get the boxes and put all that stuff I don't think you guys 
really want to be bothered with that. But anyway, uh, this is what I was talking about, the bookshelves that I use to basically hold um, some of the hardware that I have. You know, um, over here is motherboards. Um, those are water blocks and other types of um, expensive but delicate equipment. Um, reservoirs, some of them. You got power supplies, equipment, uh, CPUs and stuff, uh, mics and stuff. Up there are, wait a minute if the camera will focus, up there are my RGB mats and stuff and then windows and some other things. Over here is where I keep, well, basically all the RAM. The white boxes, uh, these two bottom white boxes right here are DDR4, um, and then I have a DDR2, a DDR3, and then another box of DDR4 to, well, help out. And then if we come in here, um, GPU stuff like cables and stuff, uh, power supplies um, these are the SSDs that I have or hard drives whatever you want to call them I would say that I definitely have a lot of hard drives uh, I didn't realize I had so many jeez oh, there's even more in the back I'll put them like that don't drop it there we go Oh, we kind of, yeah, we got a lot. I actually don't know how many. I've never, I don't think I've counted it. Plus the new ones. Uh, I'd have to see. But hard drives, yes. Um, over here, these are all my sleeve extension cables. So I got these three plus this one plus the, the one that's on... The other computer so that's like five or six um, down there uh, this is where I keep my well uh, spare power supplies go down there and then this is where I keep my graphics cards and stuff and uh, this is where I keep what protects my graphics cards and all my good stuff ready to go lock and load it um, but yeah, um, water cooling, another, that's another power supply, and then more kinds of little fittings and, you know, CPU cores and stuff. But anyway, um, as you can see, it is pretty much filled up, so I'm not exactly sure what I want. What I would like to do is grab a couple of big shelves, um, put them in my living room, and then put everything, everything on those big shelves out in the living room and then I won't have to mess with all of this anymore I could just kind of get what I need and go from there so alright I'm getting out of here I still need to uh, put all this stuff up so make sure to smash the like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys see y'all